this video, I got fed up and tired with only being able to craft default armors like iron, gold, diamond, or even netherite. So I added custom armors into the game. From amethyst to TNT to even plain feathers, you can create armor out of almost anything. What does combining golden apples with gold create? Find out by subscribing and helping me get to 3 million subs by the end of the year. And leave a like to reach our like goal of 409 likes. Enjoy. All right, guys, we are here and there's a desert right behind us. I'm kind of conflicted. Do I go and look into there right now and see if I can find a desert temple right away? Because if we do, we could find TNT. And because we're doing custom armors today, there's actually a TNT armor and we get, oh, <gasps> I see a village in the distance already. Okay, so we didn't get a desert temple, but we got a village that is not as good probably, but I've been getting some pretty good villages lately. But yes, today guys, oh, and there is a desert temple. <laughs> There's a desert temple right next to a village. Okay, this is why you always check a desert when you have one, all right? Now, I'm going down here completely empty-handed, so I could I could die right now. I didn't even get wood. Hopefully, it doesn't blow up. <gasps> okay, what do we have in the chest? Oh, okay, well, that's the worst chest of a desert temple I literally have ever seen. A little better here. We got some gold, iron, some string. Beautiful and literally nothing else. So, well, wasn't that great, but we do want that TNT. So this is why I probably shouldn't have come down here without anything, because I can't get the T- Well, actually, I can. Give me all of this. <laughs> it's not ideal to get it this way, but I did it. And already we have nine of them, so that could make a TNT chest plate, but- I can't make any of these custom armors unless I have the armor crafting table. And to make that, I need a diamond. I need to surround a diamond with a bunch of freaky craft, like normal crafting tables. And so, well, we can spare one. I was really hoping to get one there in the desert temple. I don't think villages normally have them unless they have like the super chest, which is kind of rare, but hey, maybe I'll get lucky. But before any of that, we'll do our hay bale mining session. And thank gosh, we actually have hay bales this time. I've been struggling with starter food the last couple times, but nothing crazy in this village so far. And this was officially the worst village of all time. I think I've scoured all of the... Wait. Oh my goodness, of course. And the last house is a... Okay, worst village of all time. We'll quickly go ahead and do our wood mining session. And that will be enough to create 10 crafting tables. Of course, we need one. Well, firstly, to make a bunch of food because we are starving. But two, we'll put the nine here. And now we need to fetch one diamond. That's it, guys. One diamond and then we can craft all the custom armors we could ever wish for. Now, there are some materials I should probably grab here from the surface before we head down, including feathers from chickens because you can create feather armor. Come here, little guys. Oh, come on. Give me your feathers. I just want a couple. Actually, I kind of need a lot. I'm going to do a chicken killing session. That's 26 feathers. That's more than enough for a full set. We'll go ahead and put that next to our crafting tables. The other thing we're going to need is a bunch of sugar cane because there's sugar armor as well. So I just getting everything I could possibly need up here before we go and get that diamond. All of the sugar cane I could possibly want. We need 24 of every item. So that's 28 sugarcane. And that's another village right there. Oh my goodness. Imagine this has the diamond I need and I won't even need to go down yet. And this is an oak village. These are my favorite ones. Usually they have more than one chest. And nothing. Ugh, this isn't going to have a diamond. What am I thinking? And we have a dungeon. Oh, brother. I'm looking for gravel. I wanted a lot of flint because you can make flint armor. So we'll go ahead. Oh, I'm going to destroy this thing because there's not much to do with strength in this. Sorry, spiders. Get out of here. What do we have? We have more string. We have more bread. Is there a golden apple? No. I usually always get a golden apple these days. This cave. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It led right down to a dungeon and now it's like leading me further down. I just need some gravel. Well, three shovels later and we now have a piece of flint. Well, enough at least to get uh, the whole set of armor. So now we can make Three sets of armor, which is a good start. We can also make a TNT chest plate. And uh, to do all that, we just need a diamond. So we're at diamond level. I see lapis. That's not what we're looking for. I threw away my wood pick where I shouldn't have. One hour later. Here's a mine shaft chest. And there's a diamond. Yes. To so put the crafting table down, we will go ahead and put all these guys in here. Put a diamond in the middle in three, two, one. Bam. We get 
the custom crafting table and using this thing. Look at this, by the way. This is the armor creator. You cannot create armor unless it's through this device. Holy smokes. Okay. So let's start off. We just want to turn all this sugar cane into sugar. And we are going to go ahead and make a full set of sugar armor. That's a sugar chest plate, sugar leggings, sugar helmet, sugar boots. Bingo, bango, bongo. And oh, okay. This is what I wanted. Yes. I knew that the, the sugar cane stuff would give me the speed. All right. Let me block this up because I don't really care for this water here. We use that additional iron we just got to make an iron pick and mine out these fancy diamonds come here come to papa we're gonna need a lot of diamonds today well when do you not need diamonds really give me those whoa what the i have every effect what the heck just happened wait a second was i on some sort of like sugar rush <laughs> That's funny. All right, I love having this armor on. Oh my. Holy smokes, a feather chest plate. Look at that thing. And then we can also make flint as well. Flint is like, ooh, it's it's a really darker one. Kind of like, oh, it's like the opposite of the feather one. The feather one was like, ah. And this one's like, <laughs> it's evil almost. And would you look at this? An amethyst geode perfectly connected to this mine shaft. This can't be better world generation. And you know what? I actually need amethyst shards for a custom armor. So I'm going to start grabbing these. Thank you very much. We're going to need a bunch of them. <gasps> Luckily, they do grow in multiple. And now we're going to go ahead and make this amethyst. Actually, we can make a TNT chest, but let's just see what that looks like. Well, I mean, TNT chest plate <laughs> looks exactly how I'd probably imagine it. Now let's make the full set of amethyst armor. Whoa, that's looking smooth. I know we haven't even like tested out any of these yet. I'm kind of just compiling them right now, getting the materials together because I'm excited. All right. Hoo -hoo, baby, amethyst armor. Okay. So which one are we going to do first? I think uh, we'll ditch the speed armor now. And by ditch, I mean we'll put it in a chest. And now we will put on the feather armor. Whoa, look at me. And it gives me fly mode. Okay, I knew it would. Wait, no, we're definitely a lot slower. I think we are because we, we get to fly. Get out of your skeleton. Whoa! What the? Seven blaze rods? And there's like this feather chest that spawned here too that comes with eight emeralds and an enchanted iron sword with a bunch of level 50 enchants on it. Okay, we'll replace our current iron sword with that. We'll put our eight emeralds in our inventory. Uh, this armor is incredibly OP for feather armor. Are you kidding me? Oh, but I can't do that power up again. Looks like it has a long cooldown. Okay, so that's not like abusable. And we got two golden apples, which is actually good. That puts us toward our golden apple armor or rather golden apple combined with gold armor. Oh, Aphrodite boots. We're just making them guys. Now I can't just keep a chest here with all the things because I mean, I'm going to leave this place eventually. Eventually. So we'll put our, our feather ones in here. We might want to use that again just to get some more OP stuff for sure. That was a crazy ability. Give us feather falling too just in case the explosion hurt us. And we'll go ahead and put our flint boots on. And that's going to give us speed, strength 5, regeneration, and fire resistance. Not to mention that is super cool. Holy smokes. The bottom of me is like lava while the top is like almost netherite-esque. Whoa, 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 what the, what just happened? I can't see anything on my screen. I can't see anything on my screen. Finally, it's gone. I don't want to go through that again. Well, unless I have to, this might be wise to keep for the ender dragon or something of the sort. I just don't know. The ender dragon is such a tough beast. I don't know if it would like be affected by minuscule fire like that. So we'll take that off. But the last remaining set we have now is amethyst for now. And that's going to give us speed two, strength five, regeneration X. And that's going to create the classic amethyst thing behind us. Okay. So if we didn't have enough shards, now we do. Yo, okay. This armor is actually sick. This is going to be the one I wear for right now because it's not going to burn me to death or do any of that jazz. Now we'll use our diamonds, make this diamond pick already. And we will go and have an obsidian mining session. Craft up this obsidian armor. Ooh, obsidian chest plate. Very nice. We're going to wear this because I think this might be one of the best ones yet. It was certainly the hardest to get. Obsidian takes so long to mine. There's the leggings, helmet, and boots. And we'll put this sucker on. And what does it do? Strength 5, fire resistance, X. Wait, does that mean... <gasps> 
Oh my gosh, I'm walking on it. I can walk on lava, yes! Okay, that makes caving a lot easier. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are those things? Are those obsidian iron golems? And why are they on fire? I don't want them to die. You want them to leave a like on this video? Yes, now, or I will punch you into the shadow realm. Well, I came to the desert wanting to find a dead, I did! Oh my gosh! There's a pillager outpost right next to a desert temple. So the reason I wanted to find a desert temple is because I'm trying to get all the TNT needed to be able to get the full set of TNT armor. But these pillagers, they might have a bunch of- Oh, whoa! I forgot I can fly. So I can just fly up to this pillager outpost real quick and see what they have. It's just a bunch of enchant bottles and some oak logs. There is an arrow armor though, so I should start collecting arrows. And to do that, I obviously need to completely plow these uh, skeletons out into the shadow realm. But before we do all that, obviously I want to scour the temple, make sure we're not missing anything, destroy this button. What do we got? Nothing and nothing and absolutely more nothing and nothing, which is fine because I only really want the TNT anyways, but what is with the temples we're getting today? So with all the additional TNT, we can make the leggings. So TNT leggings, very good. We'll probably need one more temple to be able to fill up the rest of it. We have two and one temple gives you nine, so that'd be 11. That is enough for boots and a helmet. Well, let's finish getting these arrows because I need them right now. All right, that should be enough. I got phantoms after me. I gotta sleep. Please, before the zombies come. Oh, yeah! Get out of here. You're all dead. So we'll quickly make this. Whoa, arrow chest plate. That is so cool looking. What? I have a target on my freaking chest. But look how cool I look. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not mean to do that to you, poor obsidian golem. Oh, and I can just completely demolish anyone by just like anyone around me just dead immediately. There is a jungle bordering this and there is a jungle temple right there. We wanted to go and get that to see what it was, but we have more important matters at hand. There's another desert temple here because this desert has been massive so far. Holy smokes, it stretches like miles and miles and all we need is the remainder of this TNT in here. I don't care what's in the chest, give it all to me. Let's make the rest of this TNT armor, baby. TNT helmet, TNT boots, bingo, bango, bongo, and boom, we're all TNT'd up. So I'm gonna assume this has a lot to do with explosions, which is why I've been so excited to put this guy on and how do we use it exactly what is that what i just clicked a button and there's like particles going on above my head the heck is going on here oh it's a force field oh my goodness wait so any mob that comes in contact with the force field they have to run away or they're gonna sizzle and blow up okay so if they get out of it then they're fine but if they stay in it then they blow up wow hello jungle temple goodbye jungle temple oh my goodness we just blew our way right inside we have some gold in here beautiful and whoa diamonds on the ground let me try that again oh <gasps> netherite yo the tnt explosions drop a bunch of ores they drop every ore in the game there's lapis here gold iron well i still want to see what's inside this jungle temple even though that's a lot more hype than anything this could have don't get hit by the arrow grace no i always flop at that blow it all up this is why this armor is so fun and i just oh my gosh i can just blow all the way down i dude i can make my own cave but really the big thing that came out of this is being able to get netherite so now we're gonna be able to make some custom armors involving netherite we're actually about to get into a whole thing of armors that require more than one material that requires that we get some spider eyes we could actually combine some netherite with spider eyes to make a cool armor oh spider i wouldn't be in here buddy if we combine the netherite and the spider eyes together we get something called arachnorite and these are arachnorite boots basically gives us a whole bunch of spider power so i think we we have tnt that's our access to netherite so we'll take that off and we'll keep it on us but let's make the arachnorite leggies look at this it's just two different materials it's pretty wild arachnorite chest plate and helmet dude it's like a spider it's literally like a spider oh my god 
goodness, man. And check it out. Just like a spider would be able to. Let's just pick this up so we don't lose it. I can now climb up walls and get away from the skeleton. Or I can use the grappling hook I just got in my inventory and grapple right back down to him. Maybe I just want to toy with him a bit. What's up, brother? Goodbye. I'm also Spider-Man. I can use string to literally kill all of the mobs around me. So if I want to be a spider, I just be this guy. And I go around and just kill as I please and it, it auto locks onto anything near me which is really cool. Now I'm gonna kill a bunch of skeletons and get a lot of their bones. Come here buddy. I'm gonna put back on the TNT armor, get a bit more netherite via the explosions, skeletite leggings. Look at the chest plate, oh my goodness. And that helmet is eerie. Skeletite helmet, wow. And skeletite boots. Let's just throw away our TNT for a second, put this guy on, we turn in to a literal skeleton. Look at me, man. I am a skeleton. Seriously. And what the heck is that in my inventory? A skeletal blade? Oh, it just shoots a bunch of bones everywhere. I see, so it's a projectile sword. Very nice. I can just put this in my offhand and have a constant arrow thing. This might get rid of my need to have the arrow armor. But now I need a lot of rotten flesh, so give me all the rotten flesh possible because I have a lot of diamonds that I need to combine with rotten flesh. I know, it's like the best item in a game versus the worst item. Oh, and another Enderman. And he just completely killed himself and dropped an ender pearl. We can actually make ender pearl armor, but I almost am thinking maybe we should keep these on hand. We'll see. Depends what the next armors can do for us. Can't believe I'm wanting a lot of rotten flesh right now. But check this out. Instead of making like a diamond helmet, we're gonna make an- Oh! An apple cryful helmet? Goodbye, skeleton. Hello, zombie. Oh, brother. Oh, my goodness. It's turning the entire world into a, oh, a wasteland. Whoa, I just summoned a bunch of mobs. I hope those are not going to kill me. Maybe they, wait, dude, all these, are they all my friend? They see me as a zombie. I'm the king zombie inside all these mobs. Look at this. It's daytime, so most of them are useless but at least I have a bunch of spiders and creepers I can count on. What did I just do? Oh my goodness! Whoa. It's a netherite wasteland. Ever wanted to know what diamonds and lapis combined look like? Well, try Wizarian. <laughs> look at me now! What just happened? No, 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 no. Oh, I was gonna say I didn't want to lose all my stuff. I could change my hotbar. Holy smokes, I have a glacier power, a pulverized power, a electrified power, explosion, and flare. Whoa, okay, so that's what the flare does. What does the uh, glacier do? Okay, glacier just, oh, glacier freezes a bunch of the terrain around me. Electrify, okay, so it's just basically like the elements of the world. And pulverize, oh, okay, well, it pulverizes all mobs. Okay, so this is a pretty neat thing to have. Well, you only have it when you have this armor on. Combining feathers and obsidian gives you Nathangel chest plate. Ooh, look at this. Oh, now we have a feather falling effect. It's basically just complete angel armor. But what does it do? Uh, okay, that didn't do much. What the heck is going on? What is falling from the sky? My computer just crashed. Wow! What? Dude, what? And there's a mob shield, and my computer is lagging. Oh my goodness, there are OP items all over the place. Oh, you know what? I found more blaze rods. I wonder if you can make blaze rod armor. I mean, yeah, we should probably get to the end by now, but... I'm just an armor freak in there. Oh, I thought those were the ender pearls. And here we go, a bunch of ender pearls. Yes, 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 that's six. And there's an eye of ender spawner that spawned right here as well. Okay, so this power was very OP. We'll just grab the rest of these. Now we can get to the end very easily. What the heck? Okay, well, the angels came out again when I hit that guy, and what? There are not only angels, there's, like, evil ones, too. What the heck was that thing? Wait a sec, I know we can fly, but there's gotta be a cooler way we can get to the stronghold. Remember the Aphrodite boots I made earlier? Well, let's make the rest of the set. Look at me go! We're on a gold block magic carpet! This is a way better than flying! There's a sea temple! Oh, that thing's going down, and there's a village over there. All right, let's get off and let's go down and see what we got. Now, we're gonna use the TNT armor to go ahead and, you know, blow up all the way down into the stronghold. Where are you, stronghold? It is here, right? And I see a stronghold. Okay, you're in my shield, guys. You don't wanna be in here. <laughs> 
And here's the mighty end room. So we'll go ahead and fill this up and we'll hop on in. And I think I want to kill the dragon. Try to kill him with the wizard stuff on. So the, the new hot bar thingy. So we'll put that on and let's see what we can do when we hop in. Here we go. No takesies backsies now. So we'll turn on the hot bar. We have electrify. So hey, buddy. I don't think that the electricity does anything to the dragon at all. Yeah, look at his health. Like... He just takes that, man. He does not care whatsoever. Give me Golems handle all the Endermen for me. Oh my gosh, Golems, please. I need to spawn a bunch of them. Oh my gosh, look how many Golems there are. Holy smokes. All right, I guess we'll have to use the oldest trick in the book and just go in with the TNT armor. I mean, this is kind of what it was coming down to anyways, wasn't it? Oh no, I don't want to blow myself up. Did he just fly away? Oh my gosh, I just grappled up to the dragon. Oh my god. Oh! Dragon. That's how you beat him when you can create custom armors, everybody. And I will see you next time.